that Easter is almost here. So today I'm making a dish perfect for brunch. It's from Taste of Home mm. magazine, which right. is one of my very favorite magazines ever because it's from you, the people who send in your own uh, original recipes. And today we're making vegetarian egg strata. Now this recipe was submitted from Dana Rogers, who joins us now from Westport, Connecticut. So welcome, Dana. It looks so beautiful there, doesn't it? It's a rainy day in Connecticut. It is, it's a little rainy. It looks so gorgeous. Well, uh, how did you come up with this recipe? Well, it's a traditional recipe that's usually used with sausage or uh, chicken sausage. And we were having a holiday brunch and had some vegetarian friends visiting. So I decided to change it up and add some vegetables and some goat cheese for a little kick. It looks really delicious, and it's really basically very simple to do. And what I, what um, the recipe calls for a little bit of olive oil on the pan. And we're going to add the vegetables. I see here we have some red onions and mushrooms, zucchini. If you don't, you can always add any kind of vegetable you like as well, right, Dana? Absolutely. This is a great dish for leftovers in your vegetable bin. Great. This is delicious, by the way. You, are you enjoying it? Really good. Yeah, yeah it's terrific. really good. It's almost like a bread pudding. Mm. Yes, it has a very similar custardy consistency. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to saute mm -hmm. the vegetables. Now, yesterday, we, we, we have these chefs that come on the show that are real chefs, and I notice they always do this, so I'm going to try it, okay? Uh -oh. All right, ready? Oh All right, here we go. Oh, look at that! Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Okay, <laughs> that's so much fun. I will take, what? I used what? to work at what? the Chateau restaurant and yeah. I used to flip hash browns. Just like that? All the time, I'd have 12 of them to go in at once. Ah. I'll show you someday how to flip okay. hash browns. Okay, that one, that one, that, uh, we're going to saute this to make it sweat for about five to eight minutes and then we're going to add some crushed garlic mm. and then we have uh, some, mm, this is thyme, it's delicious. I, I how, much? To, how much time do you yeah, have? About 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> We'll do that, and then let's see. Oh, uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eggs, just beat them up like this. How am I doing so far? You are doing perfectly. Okay, so um, in a ba we're going to let this saute a little bit. Let me just do that one more time. Dana, okay. did you have other recipes that you submit as well? Because this is delicious. I have never submitted a recipe to any contest ever. Okay. I did this really because my kids urged me to. They love watching cooking channels and cooking TV shows, so I did it for them. Oh, wow. So what was it like to actually get that call that your recipe was actually um, actually picked to be in the magazine? That's like, oh, wow. Hilarious, we were all very excited. And then they put it in their cookbook, and now I'm here with you, so it's extra exciting. Yeah, well, we're always so proud to have Taste of Home Magazine with us. Um, we have a baking a pan right here, and we sprayed it with some cooking spray, and I put half of the bread on, and, I, and this is sourdough bread, but can you use any other kind of bread other than sourdough? Anything. You can use French baguettes. You can even use a whole wheat loaf or challah, anything. Okay. I have a question. Could you use gluten-free bread, too? <laughs> nice. Well, did you spill it all over okay. the no. place? No, <laughs> no, I didn't. I did not. You probably can. Okay. okay. Back to regular right 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 yeah. Can we okay. use gluten-free bread? Can we use gluten-free bread as well, or does it make it not as good? Oh, I've never tried it with gluten-free bread. I don't you see could. why not. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Right now. So, okay, so we have the bread in here, and then I'm going to add the zucchini mixture. <laughs> Through the magic of television, this is already done. So I'm going none to add... that was dropped on the floor during the making of this segment. Well, no, none of these <laughs> yeah. were. Okay. No, uh, and then it was a five-second rule. I'll pick this up in a minute. <laughs> All right, so we have the uh, zucchini, and then I'm going to add the rest of the bread on top, and then to that, I'm going... And then you just repeat it. We're going to add the... Just repeat it like you're doing a lasagna. I'm going to add the egg mixture on top. And I see you have some goat cheese here, too, and some Parmesan cheese. We're going yeah. to play, place this on top. And you could probably use any other kind of cheese that uh, you like as well. Could you use feta on here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think it'd be delicious with some spinach and feta. Oh, spinach and feta. And then we have a little bit of nutmeg. So I always like to use the fresh nutmeg. We'll put a little bit of this on top. And then we're going to, whoops, it's a little, we're going to bake this in the, uh, no, that, we're not going to bake it right away. What you're going to do is you're going to cover it and then put it in the refrigerator overnight. Now, why do we put this in the refrigerator overnight? You want everything to seep into the bread so it gets nice and soft. Okay. Otherwise, it would be a little too crunchy and you wouldn't get all the flavors in there. All right, so this is prepared. I'm going to stick this into our refrigerator. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Nothing makes sense. Enough to know. Yeah. I had to watch Miguel's face when I opened the refrigerator. It's really good. Okay. Um, so I'm going to let that sit in the refrigerator overnight. Okay, and then we have one in the oven. It's uh, we preheated the oven to 350 degrees, and then we baked it. Ooh. For how long? For 300 days. For 300 days. <laughs> <laughs> I. You can... Oh. Yeah. Do we cook it for? We preheated it to three about 45, 50 minutes. Okay. You want to put a spoon, a knife in to make sure that it comes out clean. 